I entered life as a male but started my cross-dressing as a trans girl at age four. There are few who can testify to living the transgender life that spans more than 70 years, but I can and will today. The only way I can accurately provide testimony today is by looking back at the trail of unnecessary choices and the consequences of reckless and unnecessary transgender journey. Reckless because when I began to do this, I was affirmed by my grandma, who did not consider the long-term consequences of affirming me as a little girl. We both thought it was fun, and we both thought it was harmless. Grandma loved dressing me up as a little girl. I enjoyed being the center of her affection. She even made me a purple chiffon evening dress. It was very pretty. In my teen years, the transgender feelings only became more powerful. I thought of getting, if I got married and having kids, my trans feelings would go away. But frankly, they only became stronger and stronger with each passing year. By the age of 41, I was married with two kids, but the transgender feelings persisted. Wanting answers, I contacted a nationally recognized specialist in the treatment of gender issues, Dr. Paul Walker, the founding president of the Harry Benjamin International Gender Dysphoria Association, known as WPATH. Walker said I was a classic case of gender dysphoria and approved me for gender reassignment surgery, which I had two years later in the appropriate time. As I found out, gender transitioning is only a temporary reprieve. And so, uh, and not a lifelong solution to gender dysphoria as my life witnesses today. Research shows that two thirds of the people with gender dysphoria have some coexisting issues for which proper treatment is actually psychotherapy. Six years into my life as a woman, I attempted suicide. Thanks to some extensive psychotherapy, my transgender feelings thankfully dissipated. After eight years of living as a woman, I joyfully returned to my male gender, which is now over 20 years ago. I've been married for 20 years. To help others, I built a website, Sex Change Regret. For the last 12 years, I have invited those who regret their transition to contact me. I discovered there that there are many like me who found changing genders produced regrettable outcomes. My transgender feelings started when I was four. I came to realize decades later what my grandma did was psychological and emotional child abuse. I needed psychotherapy, not affirmation for my feelings about being a, a girl. I'm sharing my story to help stop House Bill 1190 and preserve the children's right for uh, licensed counseling just as I received that eliminated my transgender feelings. <laughs>